Jeannie Heron. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun video for you guys. It's actually a collab video with one of my friends, Natalie, here on YouTube. Her YouTube name is HK Sako. So I will have that uh, her channel link in the description box. So definitely go and check her out. She does Rite Aid couponing, but something else that I have fallen in love with um, with Natalie over the past few months is the fact that she is a beauty enthusiast just like me. But I have to tip my hat off to her. Well, I don't have a hat on, but she has done a no buy. Um, so she's doing makeup no buys for six months and she is going pretty strong on it. So I commend her for actually staying strong and not buying any new makeup because that has got to be a ridiculously hard thing, especially um, when all of the new collections launch. It's I, I just don't know how you do it, Natalie. I don't know how you resist. I think I might try to follow suit and maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution, but we will see because like Natalie, I am also a big beauty, makeup, cosmetic, hair, perfume. I love all of that stuff. So next to couponing, beauty and fashion are probably my next two passions I have. So um, definitely go and check out Natalie's um, channel. I will have, like I said, I will have her channel link in the description box. Definitely go and check her out. Um, and if you are coming over to my channel from Natalie's channel, hi, my name is Gina and I do couponing videos. I like to coupon at CVS, Walgreens, Target, Harris Teeter. I am in Northern Virginia, so Harris Teeter um, is in our region. We also have a giant. I don't do as many giant videos, but I definitely do um, Harris Teeter, um, especially when um, Super Doubles rolls around. So today we are working together to bring you guys our fall beauty favorites. So I did this video last year. I will go ahead and leave that video in the description box if you guys want to check it out. So we are sharing with you guys our top fall beauty picks for um, the fall season. So when the seasons change from summer to fall, um, I'm pretty basic and I like to switch from um, fuchsia pinks to more mauve purpley tones. So um, one of my absolute favorite blushes to use in the fall time is from Urban Decay. It is the Urban Decay Urban Decay After Glow um, blush, and this is in the shade Video, and it is a very beautiful neutral um, blush, as you can see right here. So I like that there is not much of a pinky um, undertone to this. It's very, I actually have it on right now. Um, so it, it kind of has that like burnty brown mauve, um, mixture and I love that it's a matte blush as well because I do I do highlight still in the fall but I like to um, keep my blush not as shimmery so I love that it's a matte blush and if you guys have not tried out the Urban Decay Afterglow blushes definitely go and try them out so this is in the shade video like I mentioned I love this I've been using this actually all month so um, definitely a favorite of mine and the next blush I have to show you guys is from Lorac and it is in the shade Chroma and it is a more this has more of a purple undertone in it so this is the shade right here so I love the deepness of this I would say this is more of like a purple toned blush so um, this applies beautifully all you need is just a little bit to flush your cheeks out but you don't need to go in too heavy with this guy so um, my next favorite is actually something I have been obsessed with the past I want to say month or two however long I've had it I finally picked up the modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia and this is such a beautiful palette so I am very inspired for fall. So these plummy, pinky, mauvey tones, definitely a beautiful palette to be using this fall. So what I like to do is I like to go in with a shade called, um, what is this called, Temp Tempera? I love going in with this shade all over my lid and then I love using this raw sienna um, shade as my transition color and then I will go ahead and add in like a shimmer. This is a Primivera. I will go ahead and add this guy onto my lid and then what I love doing is smoking out my lower lash line um, with two of these shades right here. So the first one is Love Letter and um, Venetian Red. So I will switch off between these two. 
So these are the shades right here. So I will just go ahead and smoke it on my lower lash line and it gives such a beautiful look to my eye and it kind of gives more of a fall pop. So um, I definitely want to play around a little bit more with this. Well, I haven't even tried this shade right here. It's called Real Gar. So I want to definitely play around with this guy too, but this is such a beautiful palette. So if you guys have not tried this palette out, I highly recommend that you do. It's definitely top notch. So my next fall essential, my fall favorite, beauty favorite, is something that I have fallen in love with. And this is the Cup O Coffee um, Lush Face Mask. This guy is awesome. So Scarlett just started preschool, so um, it takes a lot to wake me up in the morning. I am not a morning person at all. I hate waking up um, early. <laughs> so this really helps me out in the shower because this is, well, first of all, it smells like coffee. So I use this in the shower about twice a week and I will go ahead and apply my mask. And I don't know if it really, I don't know if the coffee really does anything, but maybe subconsciously I think, oh, I have coffee on my face. So this is gonna help me wake up. So um, I've definitely been loving this. And also something that is a benefit to this coffee mask is apparently um, coffee, if you scrub it on like your legs and your arms, apparently it's supposed to help with like cellulite. So I don't know if that's actually true. I haven't really noticed a difference, but I'm going to go ahead and scrub it around places and just pretend like it's helping. So, <laughs> so the next item from Lush is the hand and body um, lotion. So this is the charity pot lotion. So my skin tends to get, my skin gets drier as the air gets cooler outside. And I absolutely love this, um, body lotion from Lush because it does not irritate my skin. So I can apply this guy right after I shave my legs and it doesn't give me any irritation at all. So I find like, and I also like that there's a very like low scent to this as well. So it's not overly um, scented and fragrance. So it really helps my skin out a lot. So next item is going to be a lip product. So this is something that I have been wearing for years, probably, I think this is like my third year wearing this shade. So this is the um, Tarte Tardis lip paint and this is in TBT. And anytime I wear this shade, you guys are always asking me what it is. So this is a lip paint right here. And this is just that like 90s brown shade. It's a matte lip paint. This guy stays on literally forever. So if you have not gotten your hand on this baby, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So um, this shade is so complimentary to my skin tone and my hair and everything like that. So this is definitely my go-to shade and it has been my favorite for quite some time. So um, next thing I like to do is I like to switch up my scents. So my favorite fall and winter scent is from Elizabeth and James. This is Nirvana, and I love this. It has like a woody, I would say like musky wood, but feminine. You guys just really need to go ahead and give this guy a try. So um, anytime I'm purchasing fragrances from now on, I'm always getting the roller ball because I always switch up my perfume. So I never see a need to actually buy like the large, um, perfumes. I just don't really think that there's a real need for it. So um, definitely um, go and uh, give this scent a go at Sephora. This is a Sephora only um, fragrance. So definitely go and sniff it the next time you're in Sephora. So the next thing is an eyeliner. So during the fall season, I love to go with like coppers and browns. Um, I tend to not really wear eyeliner much, but when I do wear eyeliner, I love to do like a coppery um, toned eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner right here. So it's a bronzy, coppery shade. And I got this in a holiday palette and this is called Bronze. So I know they make the fuller, the full size of this guy, but um, I would highly recommend going and trying this out. You definitely need a um, eyeliner brush with this guy, but I, this is one of my favorite um, liquid uh, eyeliners. So definitely go and check this out. So. Um, next thing, I, I don't really know if it's considered a beauty favorite, but um, definitely scarves. So I have so many scarves in my closet that it's hard for me to pick them out, but I just wanted to go ahead and show two of my favorites. So Chris actually got me this guy for um, Christmas last year and it is a red. I love red, I love fuchsia, I love burgundies. Like th that's my color. It definitely compliments me. So um, I love this guy. It's an infinity scarf. Look, I already look like Christmas. So I love this scarf, so it's really cozy. 
and yeah. And then my um, next scarf that I pulled out of my favorites bin is from um, Vera Bradley. So it's a purple and red polka dot scarf and I love this scarf as well. Vera Bradley makes really fun scarves if you guys haven't checked them out, but definitely go and get them at the outlet because you're gonna get them a lot cheaper. So um, last favorites of mine for the fall, not really beauty related, well kind of, um, definitely fall scented candles. So. Um, I just picked this guy up from CVS. It's the Farmhouse Pumpkin. So if you have not seen my CVS in-store video, um, couponing video from this past Sunday, definitely go and check it out because I actually did a, a deal on these candles. And this one smells so freaking fantastic. It's called Farmhouse Pumpkin. So um, this is definitely going to be a favorite of mine, I know, because the smell is fantastic. So I'm throwing it in here because I am guessing I'm going to love it. So I'm going to throw it in there. And then it would not be a fall video without pumpkin spice. Talking about something pumpkin spice. So my new go-to drink is a iced coffee with extra half and half, sugar-free vanilla sweetener with one pump of pumpkin syrup. It tastes so amazing guys so if next time you're in Starbucks definitely go and try it so a lot of people had mentioned to me that they really don't like pumpkin spice lattes because they're so sweet so if you want just a little pumpkin taste to your coffee then just add one pump of the pumpkin spice syrup to your coffee and it tastes really good and you also can let your barista know to add less pumpkin in your lattes if you don't want them as sweet so um, last two things are going to be some decor items, so they're not really beauty items, but I'm going to throw, the, throw them in there anyway. So I love any type of decor that says anything about pumpkin spice. So this one says, I love you more than pumpkin anything. So I have this guy in my um, kitchen, and then I have a photo of my husband and I from our wedding right next to it. So I like um, mixing around our photos, um, so I thought that our wedding photo went well with this um, guy right here. And then... Um, something that I collect is owls and I love setting out my owls um, every single fall season because it reminds me of each person that has given me owls. So Chris's aunt Jane, she actually lives in uh, Florida and ever since we got married she sends me owl ornaments every single year. So I love collecting the little owls that she sends me and I love um, when people remember that I love owls because they always are sending me this or giving me owls as gifts and whatnot. So um, that's a little um, quirk of mine. Well, not really quirk of mine, but it's something I collect. I love to collect owls and it, it's very fitting with the fall season. So these are all my fall beauty picks and then I threw in some random fall favorites as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again, don't forget to check out Natalie's video. Her channel will be in the description box as well as her video link because she's also um, uploading her fall beauty favorites as well. So definitely go and check her out and if you're going to her channel for mine, go ahead and let her know that I sent you and definitely subscribe to her channel especially if you like to coupon at Rite Aid and if you are like me and you love um, makeup and beauty and all that stuff so um, definitely go and check her out so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you have enjoyed it subscribe to my channel and I will talk to everyone later bye